today. This firefighter is going to teach us the rules of fire safety and what to do in case of a fire emergency at home and in school. Rule number one, never play with fire or matches. Children should never touch fire or matches. Fire is very dangerous and matches are not toys. If you need to use fire or matches, ask for an adult. Rule number two, stop, drop, and roll. If your clothing catches on fire, remember to stop, drop, roll. This method can quickly extinguish a fire on you, your hair, and your clothes and make it less likely for you to have an injury. Rule number three, never hide during a fire. Do not hide during a fire. Always let the firefighters see you by waving your arms and calling out to them so they can help you. Rule number four, stay low. During a fire, always remember to stay low on the floor. By staying low, you'll breathe less smoke. Get down on all fours and crawl to the nearest exit. Rule number five, get out and stay out. It is important to get out of a burning building quickly and stay out. Never go back inside a burning building. Rule number six, have a family meeting place. Your family should have a safe meeting place that is outside and away from the fire. Everyone will meet here in case of a fire. Rule number seven. Know how to call for help. It is important to know how to call for help in case of an emergency. Ask your parents to teach you how to call 911. Fire safety. I never play with fire or matches. I stay away from things that can burn me. I know how to stop, drop, and roll. I know that firefighters can help me in an emergency. If there is a fire in my home, I stay low and crawl outside. I know to never go back inside a burning house. I get out and stay out. In an emergency, I know how to call 911. In our school, we have to practice for when the fire alarm sounds. This is called the fire drill. A fire drill is a practice of what to do if there is a real fire in the school. These should be taken very seriously. We're here to teach you what to do when you hear the fire alarm at school. Step 1. When the fire alarm rings, you must immediately stop what you're doing. Just a warning, the fire alarm will make a sound and it will be very loud. Step 2. Stand up and get into your usual class line. Step 3. Follow the teacher and don't go back for anything. Step 4. Pay attention while attendance is called and listen to your teacher's instructions. What happens if my clothes catch fire? Just as we mentioned earlier, if your clothing catches on fire, remember to stop, drop, roll. Should you stop what you're doing and listen to the teacher or run away? Great choice! It is important to listen to the teacher when we have a fire drill. Your teacher will help you with the fire drill and will keep you safe. What do you think would happen if you run away when you hear the fire alarm? If you run away, the teacher will have to find you. This will make it hard for the teacher to keep everyone safe. During a fire drill, the teacher needs to be able to see everyone and count the class. So it's important to listen carefully to what your teacher tells you. Things to remember. 
stay calm, don't take anything with you, follow your teacher, listen to all your teacher's instructions. For more fire safety tips, head to twinkle.com.